The way in Kenya, Kwanza want to assure the people of Kenya that we want a Kenya that is equitable, a Kenya that is fair and just to all our citizens. That's what we are looking for. And in so doing, as I finish, I want to remind the organization called NCIC, led by what I thought was a respected reverend, that you should, with your team, read Articles 92, 93, and 94 of the Constitution, and they will clearly tell you that you have taken a trajectory that will embarrass you. Because you have no power, you have no right in law or in fact to make law. <laughs> Laws are only made in houses of parliament. You must also read section 25 of the act that set you up that defines what your role is. It does not include telling Kenyans which vocabularies to use. It doesn't. And when Kenyans say Linda Kura, it is real. When Kenyans say Hatupangwingwi, how does that threaten our cohesion? When Kenyans say Watajua Hawajui, how does that threaten our cohesion? So Reverend Kobia and your team, you are now falling into the trap of Kenyan public servants who think that at every time they must appear to be doing something, however ridiculous. <laughs> Don't ridicule yourselves. And for avoidance of doubt, in our next rally, we are going to say Hatupangwingwi. We are going to say Linda Kura, and we are going to say Watajua Hawajui. The growth of language can never be inhibited by any single individual. That's why when you go to the English dictionary, the Oxford English dictionary, you find words like safari, you find words like unbogable, and others. Language is dynamic and it grows. And it doesn't grow with the permission of the NCIC. <laughs> it grows with the permission and the elasticity of society. That is how it will be.